Okay. Hello, Aquarius. I just had to start that intro over because my nose was so itchy. So I feel like there's a big message here for you coming out. I did already cut another deck just to see what we'd be talking about. And for me, as a reader, you have the Three of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Temperance. It seems like you're healing from something that happened. Um, I think at one point you may have wanted to <laughs> maybe do payback to the person that hurt you or... I don't know, something harsh I get. And I am seeing actually two candles. So this can be a love issue. Um, this card doesn't have a heart in it. So it really can be anything. But whatever it is, I feel you felt betray betrayed. And now I feel that you're at peace. You're kind of letting go of the situation. No more arguing about it. You're nurturing yourself. You're focusing on yourself. You're not allowing even anyone else in your like space right now, possibly. Or let's just say you live with a family or or you're normally close to the family. I feel like with the swords replacing like all the seating spots and just one bowl there, it's just you taking care of yourself, you healing, and that's that. Okay, so let's see what's coming up for Aquarius. Okay, whoa, sorry. Okay, let's start here. Oh my goodness. Aquarius, you had a wish about something here. Um, and what were the obstacles and the blockages in regards to getting that wish? There was hidden things here. Now, never have I felt this more. Oh, this card is like wanting to come out. It's the King of Pentacles, okay? And also with the Four of Pentacles at the bottom, you could have been dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn, um, Taurus, of course, but doesn't have to be those signs, but someone who's very focused on material gain, who's focused on like the 3D reality and what they have. And I feel like this person was actually the one holding back. So let me come back to this for a second. Often, if you watch my videos that in the nine of cups, it looks great, but I do feel like there's a secret. It doesn't have to be a bad one, but with the moon card, crossing it and that same blue energy there is some stuff that's been left out and this has um, interfered with you having the whole wish that you want and maybe the wish that you wanted was the ten of cups you know like maybe you wanted a family and um, a living situation that, that was fulfilling and all of that type of stuff that comes along with that but there were secrets and I feel like that's what was holding you back. Interestingly enough, I'm just noticing we even have the high priestess right here behind the four of pentacles. So definitely someone was keeping a secret. It could have been a third party situation. Um, just because I am seeing the three of cups, it doesn't need to be. But whatever it was, it kept you from having the celebratory happiness that a nine of cups energy usually comes with Aquarius. So that's interesting. What did you want um, exactly in this wish? What was it that you wanted? Okay. I mean, you wanted a new start with something. Healing energy, the tower, and the fool card. So you wanted to heal and let go of whatever happened. There may have been some sort of an argument. A foundation may have come down. You wanted to heal and have a fresh start. Okay. So let's see what else. That's interesting. The problem is, is that you, I mean, it looks like you have become single. Something like this, okay? Because what's at the feet is what you have to work with. And you're hanging on to your single energy or something like that. Um, we're going to need to clarify this for sure. I'm going to take this and start clarifying right now. So there was a situation you had to reassess is what I'm getting here. Um, the full card is really strong. It's still sticking out here. Did you want to break free of something? Um, I mean, let's just start clarifying, okay? The secret, or I don't know why I'm calling it the secret, but look at, we have the higher thing coming pretty much in reverse. So you may have wanted some sort of a wish with someone. I am seeing a cancer card here, um, the chariot. You wanted some sort of a wish. A fulfillment. Oh my gosh, look at that. The Nine of Cups in reverse. So there was a wish you wanted and it may have been to get married is what I'm going to say, Aquarius. 
um, or some sort of a higher level of commitment. Because remember, I mentioned the Ten of Cups and it just wasn't happening. So what happened here with the tower? Oh my gosh, the lovers in reverse, the nine of pentacles. And I see your energy right behind there, Aquarians. Oh my gosh, double Aquarius energy. I think you caught someone in a lie. Um, you may have tried to reconcile this or to fix this situation, but maybe you couldn't let go of what they did. Possibly what they did was act single, okay? Um, possibly you could not let go of the fact that maybe, what's going on there? You wanted to be single. Let's see what's going on. Nine of Wands. What was... So the thing is, Aquarius, you were avoiding looking at what you had, okay? You had some clarity here but you didn't want to face it. And I believe what the clarity had to do with, um, it's either that you wanted to be single or that the person you're with, wait, tell us more about the Nine of Pentacles, please, specifically. Plot twist. Um, let's just do it again. I always leave my plot twist cards in there and I'm going to. Uh, you, you had clarity and you didn't want to face it is what I'm seeing here. Um, we have the judgment card in reverse with the sun card, maybe because you had an ego, you didn't want to face something. And I mean, seeing the nine of pentacles here and the page of swords, uh, maybe you didn't want to face or say that you're single, you know, that there was a plot twist that happened in this situation. Interesting, Aquarius. Okay, so tell us more. <laughs> tell us more about this. So you're no longer, oh my gosh, Aquarian, you're no longer stalling this. You, it looks like, Aquarian, are moving towards ending a situation, possibly with the water sign, um, a home situation, you are no longer going to question this. Someone here wants to be single, whether it be you or this wish that you had. They want to be single. That's why the Hierophant's in reverse. That's why the Nine of Cups is here. Like this wish isn't happening because there was secrets or there was just untruths, truths untold, things unspoken. Even though this tower moment happened, Aquarian, and the lovers is in reverse, you may have rushed healing as well. But what I get is you never let go and you actually had the clarity, but you weren't using your better judgment. You didn't want to say the like honest, simple truth, which is that you rather be single or someone else rather be single. And it looks like you're moving towards ending a home. Oh, and that king of cups, I didn't mean to take him out with it. A home situation, you're leaving something. Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this could be you leaving a twin flame connection. I mean, that's not really what's up here. It's a home. Okay, I just want to say that because I know some people always jump to twin flame with the Four of Wands. And like, something's ending. I mean, it's really interesting. What is this? A King of Swords energy, huh? Wow. I almost feel like this is something that this person you're ending it with, whether it be an air sign or a water sign, kind of new. I don't know. We don't have to get into that, to be honest. Um, okay, so you're you're walking away from the confusion. Yeah, you're walking away from being stuck about a person you're in a relationship with that doesn't want a higher level of commitment, that doesn't want um I mean, I don't know. They're stubborn. They're stubborn. They're not looking for the Ten of Cups. And I feel like that's what you were looking for. And the Ten of Cups will mean something different to everyone, right? Um, and so you're going towards leaving a house. Like, you're just like, I'm done. I'm out. And you're going to be actually quite happy about that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> This is interesting because these two were in the reverse. We have the Ten of Swords here and it's like, oh, and look at what just happened. The Judgment card 
just flipped over. And what it's about, Aquarians, what I get is that someone that you're with, and yeah, there could be great times there. Um, maybe not only were they in a third party, that's a possible scenario, but they weren't moving. They weren't even making another offer to, to I guess, get to where you want. Um, what was that card? The moon card. Yeah, because it's secrets. I mean, I guess you knew this. But look at that. As, I don't know if you did so much healing or what. Like, we have the same two cards here, Aquarius. Once again, same two cards. I don't know if you did so much healing you couldn't let go or you didn't want to face it or you didn't want to do um, any more healing or something like that. Like, But you didn't want to let something go. I want to re-clarify the Nine of Pentacles right now while we're here. Uh, I think you were still focused on a possibility that something could happen, um, that there could be another, you know, celebratory reason. I don't know, something could happen that you'd be happy about and you didn't. There's really a strong energy here with the Page of Swords, the Knight of Swords. You really didn't want to face the truth about something. One thing that may be seriously is that you weren't happy and possibly stuck around for money or someone did that, okay? I'm just saying, but that's what's coming up. Okay, so you're moving towards ending um, a home situation. No more fighting about it, right? No more tears, no more nothing. You're just, it's over and it's, there's clarity with that. We have the King of Wands and the Page of Cups. Um, personally, I feel like the person you're dealing with may kind of watch you walk away. This is bizarre. Ah, okay, I see. So what this is saying, actually, direction, and you're going to be giving yourself love. You are going to be moving away successfully, possibly to, and like the five of pentacles here, by the way, that's about moving out. So possibly for some of you, it's moving away from a long-term relationship. Um, and for some of you, it's just having a fresh start, maybe a childhood relationship you're moving away from as well. But we have that world energy here. And it's like this person's holding on to one wand. They've made a choice to move forward, to not argue, to let go of the past. Look at that. Three of swords in reverse, to let go of the heartache that they were hanging on to. Four of pentacles, four of swords. And you know, they didn't want to face the truth. This is you, actually. You've chosen to walk away. You were hanging on. You were in pause mode. You didn't want to look at it. And I think now with all these sword energies, you are. So that is super interesting. What else do we need to know about this? Who, like, what is this tower lovers reverse stuff here? What happened? Wow, but we kind of know the secrets we heard about, right? You may have found something out on the World Wide Web. Look at the secret energy still showing up here. Um, I mean, it just, to me, it looks like this was, it was time to conclude. 2021 is the year of conclusions here, okay? Especially for me, yeah, and it's about going on a new, it's about Fighting for what you want, and what you want is a fresh beginning on your own by the looks of it, or a new beginning, or maybe you want a higher level of commitment. Yeah, karma. Um, why were you hanging on? Whoa. The nine of swords in reverse. I mean, okay, I think it was money and, and investment and time and all of that, but you're not hanging on anymore. The nine of swords just came in reverse, Aquarius. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're facing the truth. You're cutting yourself free. You're making changes that are not easy, but you're doing it. You're really taking charge here, okay? So that's what's going on in October. You're really taking charge. For you, Aquarius, for the extended, I'm going to um, just look into your future, okay? But let's call, let's get you a couple more messages while you're still here. Waves of prosperity. And honestly, that's what's up. You're going to be getting um, money. You're going to have new opportunities come. Your wishes. Like, it's not about your wishes. What I'm getting is like what you want, you will get. There's new opportunities coming because you're eliminating. And eliminating is not a bad thing. It's actually a process that talks about, you know, 
uh, relieving one situation of its duties in your life, basically, so that new ones can come in. It's a great um, recycling program, I guess we could say. So you're going to have new opportunities. Um, simplify your life, eliminate the old. Like, And it's not just the old of this person, like the clutter of it. If there's um, energy of letter, love letters, foods or something, or candles or something, or some sort of memories, eliminate the club the clutter right now so that this new abundance can just rush in and then it also has rest so make sure you're rested take the time you need okay Aquarius so I'm gonna go now over there bye for now